dear students today i'll be discussing you with one current topic and that topic is regarding the iran's refusal to india for the railway line from chabahar onwards and it was made a agreement with india that india will be constructing a railway line to that place which will connect iran and afghanistan the borders of afghanistan but now india is out from there why it happened for that we have to go in the history as well as in the geography in the 19th century in iran there was a one qadri dynasty was ruling ruler was fateh ali shah fateh ali shah advised his son abbas mirza because abbas mirza in 1813 13 went to conquer some areas of russia he advised fateh ali advised abbas mirza that no doubt russia is very powerful very healthy militarily strong but adopt the guerrilla tactics abbas mirza fought in 1813 and he lost to russia the tsar and many areas they have to hand it over under one treaty and that treaty is treaty of gulistan very important treaty in february 1828 abbas mirza again attacked to regain the lost territories this time he went with a double force with a huge force but once again he was defeated and a treaty was signed the treaty is called treaty of turkmanche turkmanche it was the most humiliating treaty for iran they have to loss large number of territories to russia nowadays there is a talk of another treaty between china and iran and that treaty if it is materialized perhaps it will be going to materialize if it goes materialize china will have a large number of say in iran many scholar says if this treaty will be materialized iran might lose its sovereignty in 1971 the relations between china and iran were not so good because in china it was mao zedong and in iran it was the shah shah raza pehlavi who was pro usa in 1979 there was a revolution and in that revolution iran goes away from the west in 1997 china and usa had a strange relations over the taiwan because china decided to attack taiwan with the missiles usa immediately came in 
and decided to help Tewan. And in 2006 onwards, West started imposing sanctions on Iran because of its nuclear policy. And China was rising at that time. And Iran moves towards China. In 2015-15, US and Iran had a nuclear deal, which is called P5 plus 1. Barack Obama was the president of America at that time. P5 means permanent members of UNO. They are USA, Russia, England, France, China. Plus one is Germany. This P5 plus one had a nuclear deal, had a nuclear, nuclear deal that is for the civil purposes. And they will they will be investing in Iran. On the other hand, China have already started OBOR and BRI. On 16th January 2015, this nuclear deal was signed. And just within a week, on 24th January 2015, Xi Jinping, the president of China, visited Iran. And he signed a number of agreements, probably 17 agreements. And it was the first visit of a head of the China to Iran. Earlier, no Chinese head of the state visited Iran. Various proposals were there, which will have an economic security and partnership with both the countries. And with that, China became exclusive partner of Iran. Iran agreed to China because of two factors. One, because in 2016, when Donald Trump became the president, he came out from that deal. At that time, European Union, the other members, they criticized Mr. Trump, but they did not come for the help of Iran. And secondly, India factor. India, South Korea and Japan, these are the three giants of Asia. Iran was expecting some help from these Asian countries. But on the other hand, these all three countries, they were close allies of USA. India have already signed the nuclear deal with USA. India is having a ancient relations with Iran when it used to be known as Persia. Iran is the only Shia country and after Iran, India is the second largest Shia country in the world. Because of Shia populations, India had a very good relations. And on the other hand, India is the third largest importer of crude oil from Iran. But India comes under the pressure of USA. When India did not come forward, Zawed Zarif, the foreign minister of Iran said, India comes under the 
pressure of USA. Why? Because they are going away from Iran. Now Iran is not having any choice. It is only choices left for them is China. And under compulsions, they have to move towards China. In 2016, 1-6, China made a proposal and Iran agreed to that proposal. Some of the clauses of that proposal. In June 2020, the cabinet of Iran will pass that proposals and they passed it in the month of June and it is uh, expected that formally it will be materialized by March 2021. It's a 25 years agreement between the Iran and the China and China will invest 30 lakh crore rupees in Iran and in lieu of that Iran will give crude oil on concessional rates to China. Iran will get free trade zones banking, seaports, railways, and so on. China and Iran will share weapons as well as the secret services. Both countries will go for the Air Force, Navy, and military exercises. Now, what's the reaction? When in June 2020, this proposal was passed by the cabinet, the reaction from the Iran side, the people of Iran are not happy. People of Iran got furious because number one, Iran can lose its sovereignty like the African nations have lost as well as Pakistan have lost. Secondly, there are anti-China sentiments in Iran. Thirdly, there is a possibility of loss due to weak condition. Fourthly, people doesn't like China because of the Corona. Like the entire world thinks that Corona is due to the China. Same way, Iranian people also think it's the Chinese people who spread the corona. And fifthly, Iran is giving everything on cheap rates to China, particularly crude oil and its natural resources. People of Iran are no longer happy from the China and Iran deal. Opposition leader Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, he criticized this Iran-China deal. Now, if geographically, if we see, there are five countries, Iran, India, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and China. If we look, look these countries in the map, they reminds us the old Silk Route, which used, which used to be very popular in ancient India, rather in medieval India also, before the attacks of the Muslims. Pakistan have already handed over the Gwadar port, and they have also agreed for the CPAC, China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. Iran had a 
agreement with India over the Chabahar port. Chabahar port is strategically very important for India. If India develops it, it can go easily, move easily towards Afghanistan as well as Central Asia. It is just 170 kilometers away from the Gwadar port. Briefly, I'll explain you about the Chabahar port. In ancient times, when Alexander the Great attacked India, he was on his way. He died. And one of his journal, Seleucus Nekatop, he became the head of the Greek Empire. On the other hand, in India, Chandragupta Maurya ascended the throne. Chandragupta Maurya crossed the river Bias and annexed the territories. And these territories were the part of the Seleucus Nekatop. The force, Greek forces were defeated by, Sluka, by Chandragupta Maurya. Agreement was signed by which Silicus Nakator gave Kabul Kandahar, Yarkan Khutan, and Chabahar was the part of that agreement. Chabahar, its earlier name was Charbahar because it is famous for the four seasons. Its earlier name was Char Bahar. And with the passage of time, it came to be known as Chabahar. So it used to be a part of the Indian territory for a longer, longer period. Now, because of the US pressure, India left Iran and Iran was under the pressure of China. And in retaliation, they showed the way to India for the railway line project from Chabahar to Jahedan. Jahedan is on the borders of Afghanistan and Iran. Now India won't be completing that project. This agreement was signed in 2016 between India and Iran. Iran says India is delaying in, his, in this project. That's why now they themselves will complete that project. In this way, it's a big loss to India. And China goes more, China goes more closer to, to Iran and Iran will have a now say over there. Already in the beginning of the 21st century, there was another agreement, IPI, India, Pakistan, Iran gas pipeline. India dropped that project under the pressure of only and only USA. Now India is facing a diplomatic crisis. They have to deal with Iran because Iran is a very crucial partner of India. We are having a centuries long relations. Thank you very much.